Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bitterman Studios, and in this video I want to show you the on mouse down function, which is actually pretty awesome, uh, because usually in game engines when you check for if your mouse clicks on something, you have to do a raycast on click, return a hit to see if it's that object. It's a bunch of stuff just to check to do a click on something. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do that quickly and easily because Unity provides us a function that allows us to do it very quickly and very simply. So I have a cube here, a sphere here, and a light up here. What I'm going to do is when we click on the sphere the light turns off and the light turns on when we click it again. So inside of my scripts folder I'm going to create a new C-sharp script and I'm going to call it toggle light and I'm going to drag that guy over here onto Sphere. So Sphere has toggle light. Then I'm going to open it up. And there we go. I don't need the start or update functions. And what I need is a public game object, the light. And this is the light that we're going to be turning on and off. So how Unity gives us this functionality is awesome. It's in a function just like they have update for us and start for us and awake and all those other functions we have on mouse down. So I can literally do private void on mouse down. No parameters. Must be spelled this way. Capital O, capital M, capital D. Um, private could be public, could be protected could be private that doesn't matter what it must have is void on mouse down that spelling no parameters so what we want to do is to make sure our object is not null so if the light is not equal to null and the light dot light is not equal to null so make sure it's a light just some error checking um, and what we're going to do is do the light dot light dot enabled is equal to not the light dot light dot enabled. So if this is true, it'll turn false when I click it once, and if I click it again, if it's false, it'll turn true. So that's all not, and then a boolean does is it inverts it and places it into itself. It's a quick way of toggling something on and off. So let's test out our functionality. Check our sphere. Our sphere now has this new game object slot, which we will drag our directional light into. And then we will just hit play. And now all we have to do is click on our sphere. And you can see I can click everywhere. I don't know if you can hear that. It's not doing anything. Uh, sorry if that was loud. Now if I hover the mouse and click, it goes off. It goes on. So you can see that that is an awesome way of getting some clicks to happen and doing some events in a way. Um, very easily inside of Unity without having to do all kinds of recasting, hit checking, and seeing if it's that the specific object and all this other stuff. Just do on mouse down. And that was the premise of this video, and that's about it for it. I hope you liked it. I hope you, it helps you out. If you have any suggestions, let me know. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.